everybody, this is Matt at Blue Water. Today we're going to go over how to install an Autocam viewfinder in an Autocam housing. Um, there's two versions. There's a 45 degree viewfinder, which is this one here. Um, it's primarily used for macro as it allows you to have a much more comfortable viewing angle, especially if you're low to the bottom um, and you don't have to crank your neck into uncomfortable, uncomfortable positions like if you use the standard viewfinder. The other one here is the 180. Um, some people prefer it because it's a much more natural viewing angle. You just look straight through the viewfinder like you do with the regular one. Um, the benefits of these also um, are that it gives you a much wider, brighter field of view um, as opposed to the constricted, dull, dark um, view you get through the standard viewfinder. They're very easy to install. You pop the back off the housing. Um, and if you look closely, you'll see that there is an O-ring holding in the standard viewfinder. Um, any tool will work, credit card, fingernail, um, Nauticam housings come with this little blue tab, uh, so you'll just pop that O-ring out, and then push the viewfinder out through the back of the housing. Once that's done, you'll take your other viewfinder, remove the large O-ring from the front, and then make sure the two smaller O-rings are clean. Then you'll simply push the viewfinder into the back of the housing. It'll seat in place, and then you'll simply replace the O-ring on the back on the inside. Once that's done, pinch it down to make sure it's fully secure, and you're ready to go on your dive. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call us or email us here at Blue Water uh, and we'd be happy to help you out.